Hello, my name is Elle and I am learning to be a seamstress. So today's a little bit different. I thought I'd do a video all about Sew Anonymous, which is a fabric brand that I've recently got involved in. And I'm happy to announce that I am one of the Sew Anonymous official sewists. Now, if you guys are on Facebook or Instagram, then you might have seen some of the sewists before. So basically, Sew Anonymous is a fabric shop they also do labels and they do like little gifts and trinkets and all for sewers obviously so the sew anonymous blog started a while ago and amy put a call out on instagram for some sewists to join her team and write about her fabrics so there were some sewists that joined in the beginning one of whom is my friend hazel and then there was a second call out of sewists so there was quite a few people that applied and i'm really happy that i got chosen to be one of the sewists and this is my first official month as a Sew Anonymous sewist. So I just wanted to talk about it really because I'm super excited. The fabric that Amy has on her website is amazing and I was so excited um, to choose my first fabrics to write about and I have them behind me here. I will be talking about them in a second. Uh, so basically my whole aim for my blogs is to just be fun, honest, open, People who watch my channel, you guys, you know that I'm quite honest and um, like to talk about my mistakes, especially as a beginner-ish sewist. I make a lot of mistakes. I don't know a lot about all of these different techniques and I'm learning as I go. And I'm going to continue to write about that on the blog. So I'm going to try my hand at new things. I'm going to try new patterns. If there's some mistakes, I'm going to photograph them and then, yeah, hopefully I can resonate with some new young beginner, young or old, doesn't matter, we don't discriminate, uh, new sewists and hopefully they or you don't feel alone entering the scary world of sewing. I also want to play around with lots of big bold colours and bright prints, why can't I speak, and try and just do some really fun sewing that you guys would just want to see and read about. Okay, so let's get on to the fun part, the fabric. So for my first blog, I have chosen something bright and beautiful. It is this gorgeous oh, greeny, yeah, it is green, green um, cotton with these tigers on and like this leafy tropical print. And it's from Dashwood. I'll link it below and I think I'm gonna make like a statement jacket so like an oversized shirt jacket and I'm gonna use the Ilford pattern so I've made the Ilford before in like a boxy canvas structured fit jacket but obviously with this being a thinner cotton it's gonna be more like a shirt but I'm gonna do it oversized so that I can wear it over like a nice black dress for the evening or I can also throw it on on my way to work and let it be more of a casual vibe. I just think to have like a massively statement shirt jacket is gonna look super cool and it's gonna be quite long. I think I'm gonna do it maybe just above the knee um, but I'm really excited about that. So I'm going to write about that for my first blog and my first blog is coming out on the 3rd of July. So I better get cracking. My second blog that I'm going to do is all about double gauze. So I've never sewn with double gauze before and I saw this on the Sew Anonymous website and it is so me, like I love this colour, I love the, pla the paint splatter, again I'm going to link it below and I just think oh, it's so beautiful and when it said double gauze I was like uh, I've never sewn with double gauze, I don't really know anything about it and then I thought well, that's a perfect excuse to do a blog about it, do some research. Um, Amy pointed out that Mary Ellen, who is one of the other sewists, had done a blog about tips and tricks to sew with double gauze. So I'm kind of going to do a follow on from that, see what tips I can learn from her and implement them into my sewing. So yeah, I'm going to sew some shorts. So like some comfy loungewear summer shorts. Um, which is a free peppermint magazine pattern. I think they're called spring shorts. 
but I'll double check. And then a matching top and do a bit of like a comfy cohort that I can still wear out and about because I need to show off this fabric. I also got sent in my first um, serviced package these gorgeous, cute labels. They say summer loving on them, a la Greece. Oh, I don't think you can see. They are so cute and I can't wait to sew them into my clothes because I don't really sew in labels. I'm lazy. I'm a lazy sewist. I don't use labels, but I'll definitely be using these because I love the pastel colours. They're very on trend and I think they're going to look super cute. Also, some plans, me and Hazel, Hazel and the Machine, who is also a sewist, we're going to do some collabs together. So we are planning something exciting at the moment, probably along the vibes of a one pattern, two ways, and then maybe a one fabric and then go away. Like we both get the same fabric. We both go away and make something and then reveal it to each other and see how different or similar they are. So that's super exciting. And yeah, I'm just so excited to be part of such an amazing team. Um, it's going to be so fun. And I hope that you enjoy reading it. I'm going to link below to all the blogs. You can go back and read the ones from before or just continue to read the ones from now on. And I hope you enjoy it. Oh, and I'm also wearing a puppament. I'm also wearing a peppermint ruffle top made in this gorgeous pink organic cotton from Minerva, which I will also link down below. Thanks so much. Goodbye.